I ask you, dear viewers, to forgive me for appearing a little prematurely. Well, since this has happened, I will consider it my duty to warn you about something. You have more than once had to meet an inscription on the screen notifying that any coincidence with real people and genuine events is accidental and there are no plans provided. For my part, I want to bring to your attention that all the actors in our film are brought out under their own names, and the events that you will witness really took place in the summer of next year. I didn't misspoke. Well, that's actually all I can tell you so far. Oh yes, I didn't introduce myself. I have special responsibilities in our film. So to say and oh, performing special duties. So, the star Alpha, the constellation of Cassiopeia, otherwise called Shadar, and separated from us, at a distance of 71 whole 42 hundredths of a parsec, that is 22 by 10 and 14 kilometers, was chosen by us as the flight target, because over the past year and a half, the Karakhan Observatory recorded over 2,000 simulated radio signals on a wave of 21 centimeters. This gives us the right to assume the presence of intelligent life on one of the planets of the Sheeta star system. systems of the star Shadar, Alpha Cassiopeia. Since modulated radio signals can be sent to a highly organized civilization, I believe that such a flight will enable a person from planet Earth to reach out to an intelligent being of another star system for the first time in the history of mankind. But the way is far long, at about light speed. The duration of the flight for the crew of the spaceship will be approximately 52 years in both directions. Therefore, I consider it expedient to form a ship's crew of persons no older than 14 or 15 years old, which will contribute to the scientific success of the expedition since its participants will reach Alpha Cassiopeia in the prime of his life and creative powers, that is, at the age of about 40 years. What heyday, 40 years. It's a deep old age. I stopped at developing the engine, but he knows better. Who is the main one? Told you, coachman, travel. You know that the most important issue in solving interstellar flights, where's the tape recorder? There are still no bot, burned with a bright flame, without a solemn march at the end. We're burning. Well, I have a tape recorder here. Music, a solemn march to the report. I'm already late. Your job? Well, I conducted an experiment. Well, I launched a rocket, but I won't do it anymore. And if all our windows flew out, I won't let academics in there. But I have to. 
and we don't need to. In connection with all of the above, I submit for protection this fan project flight to the Alpha Cassiopeia star on the Zarya spacecraft, which means a starship annihilating relativistic nuclear. That seems to be it. Please ask questions. So, please ask questions. Boulder, Boulder. A note, please. And you would have flown because it's for life. I would have flown with him. Who would you fly with? Would you fly? After all, it's for life. I would have flown with him. Who wrote this? I have a question. Please. How many bison were there in America when the first Europeans arrived there? Bison? You don't have to answer. You don't know that. America was inhabited by millions of bison. Where are they? Extinct. They are destroyed by humans. Where is Przelski's horse? Where is the cow on the left? Kudyshikovo, what does your cow and Przelski's horse have to do with it? We have a space gathering. I understand. Przelka, I understand. Sereda suggests searching for habitable planets in some distant constellations, while people are doing everything to turn our planet into an uninhabited one. Kudyshikov. So that's it. People should throw all their efforts to preserve endangered species of animals on Earth. And it would be much better if Wednesday thought about it and did not waste time inventing some stupid or tireless engines. I have everything. The bison are extinct. The dinosaurs are extinct. The time will come, we will also die out. So you die out, and I'm not going to yet. And what about me? I'm nothing. But why, comrade Filatev, fly to Cassiopeia when we have Martians on Earth? Martians. Of course. It says here how one Martian was caught. He was selling carbonated water at a kiosk on Gorky Street in Moscow. For disguise. Don't always believe what is written. Sometimes I doubt it. Especially fiction. How did you get 52 years? I took into account the acceleration, breaking, and time. Are you theoretically interested in the project of the environment? Why invent something? When there is a great cheap fuel, H2O, using the energy of the world's oceans, we can turn our entire planet into one giant spaceship and fly on the spit of the Big Dipper in general anywhere. Well, you bent it. Lob, stop the circus. Why? Please, I demonstrate the village of water. Stop it now. You see, what a reserve of energy. What happened? Nothing happened. Go ahead and write further. Well, why so strictly? He was conducting a scientific experiment after all. I'm sorry, Sergei Sergeyevich, you don't know him. That's where he's sitting. Well, you know best. So, let's continue our journey to Alpha Cassiopeia. Well, the calculations are mostly correct. I consider the huge duration of the expedition to be a major drawback of the project. 500 years will pass during the flight on Earth, but we are powerless here for now. Why not yet? Will we ever be able to overcome the light barrier? No, of course not. The laws of physics are not cancelled. They are only being clarified and supplemented. But I said so far, because nature always acts not only as an opponent, but also as an assistant in achieving our goals. She puts up barriers for us and always has ways to get around them. However, for such a bypass, you need to know more. We do not yet know exactly how our universe works, what are the properties of space-time, but we already know 
that space is curved, that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. And maybe it is in the features of the structure of our space that we need to look for the answer to the question of how to get from one place to another faster than light does. Here is a visual model of this possibility. Along the tube, we can move back and forth. A certain traveler, well, let's say it will be a bug, wants to get from one end of the tube to the other, moving along it. He has a long way to go. If he knew that this tube was rolled into a ball, that his target was next to him, it would be enough for him to gnaw through the walls and he was at the goal. I believe that if not us, then you will someday learn to chew holes in space. It turns out that this project is already outdated. No, oh, no, quite the opposite. This is a very interesting project. We have been dealing with the problems of entering the big space for a long time. And it is very significant that today our conversation is taking place here in Kaluga, in the city of the great Tsiolkovsky. And now I would like to answer you, Kutishchikovo. Of course you're right. Humanity must make every effort to preserve animals on Earth. But it went into space, and today, the problems of space have become our earthly business. Your project is very interesting, Victor, but I wanted to ask you one question. And Lena said that it was Ira who wrote the note. What's true? Nothing like that. Well, what is it? The Sokolov case. On the right, kebabs of bulls. This is from the fourth. No one else. It's early yet. One parsec is how many kilometers? Approximately 31,000 billion kilometers. Decently. Pasha Karakovit. Mika. Hi there. Hi there. Did you make Russian? I did. And what? Let me see. And you didn't do Russian. Yes, I did. I wanted to check it out. Sorokino is coming. Julio. What? Nothing. There's nothing to guess. Yurka wrote a note. She's had a crush on him since the second grade. She still blushes at him. And I think if a person blushes, he will not write notes. What do you think, Beck or what? I really need your environment. She is a person herself. Earls. Maybe it was Nika who wrote the note. I have long since passed the age when they write notes. Shishova on the occasion of the ninth. Fuff on the sixth. Do you know the whole school? No, I'm confusing first graders. Ivanov, back at the factory. Well, is it hard? All right. Everyone, everyone, astronauts, overloads are over. Just a little more. Let's have a quick breakfast, guys. You're going to be late for school. Let's go wash up. Bon appetite to everyone. The Starship Charge will be equipped with a migational relativistic nuclear engine. Keys. I have a test today. An active idea. According to the calculations made, this is. I have a test. Inform the stars close to the speed of light. 
No spacecraft has ever developed such a speed. Turn off the radio right now. The team will be formed from teenagers no older than 14 years. Dad, did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? What did he say? Well then. And why do they breed porridge in their underpants? Quiet. Nekodolnaya. How many kilometers do you think it is to the Big Dipper? You look, look, there will be questions later. I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, Kutishchikova is running. Varka, hi. Hi there. Well, what if I wrote this note? What are you staring at me for? Did you make Russian? Let me see. Well, will you give Russian or not? Finally, we have waited for the great hour. Sereda didn't prepare his homework. Hooray. Hooray. Here, we're evaporating. What are you standing here for? Yes, yes, here. Who do you think could have written it? The team is formed from teenagers no older than 14 years. I heard it myself, with my own ears, just on the radio. And non-sterile, relativistic, nuclear. What did you mix up? I didn't mix anything up. I did algebra, December to write off. But that's impossible. Anything is possible. Do you know what voice the announcer spoke in? The team is formed as a team. Who is algebra to me? I'll take English too. Listen, Vitka, let's go to Moscow. Time is running out. They're probably taking it away. Do you know how many applicants there are? But we have control now. Always. What did you give me? It's chemistry. And I need algebra. Take the algebra. Let's go. Where are you guys going? Above the head. Open your eyes. Can't you hear me? What's the matter with you? Well, aren't you completely screwed up? Get out. Yes, there are enough elderly people for today. What do you want? Are they taking it away from you here? They are no longer being selected. How? Already selected, taken away. And the girls were taken away. And girls. And you were taken away, taken away. And why? Why? I have a phenomenal memory. Okay. I memorized 10 pages of typographic text from one reading. A phenomenon. A phenomenon. Last name. Mikhail Kopenhagen. I'm coming. Come on, get out of here. Too late. Careful, careful, careful. Too late. They took it away. They were late. We're going to Filatov's. Sergei Sergeyevich will be very upset that you didn't find him at home. Last night, we were just talking about your project. We had Academician Blagovidov. Hold the cat. Academician Blagovidov was simply delighted with the project. Oh. Come back on Sunday. Suryaza will definitely be at home, and today he will be back very late. I'm sorry, but I'm in such a hurry. Good bye-bye. Good bye-bye. Good bye-bye. What to do? We will wait. Wait a minute, Pasha. Have you ever heard this show? At 7.40. Like, why? We don't have to wait for Filatev. Why? Kozelkov, have you heard the Pioneer Dawn, in which they talked about my fantastic project? The team is being formed. And I also hung my ears. They came to Moscow like fools. They believed in Panagin like babies. And they just have a cosmonautics club.
That's right, Zorka. Do you understand? Some kind of eclipse in the brain. Oh, if only now. And why is it a salute today? I don't know. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just don't be scared. I think I can help you. But first, I would be extremely grateful to you, and believe me, I would not be in debt if you would help me find a young man named Victor Saredo. A.M.I. Sereda, you are the middle, he's Wednesday, and who are you? It doesn't matter. I perform special duties, so to speak. And oh, that's another thing. Holy shit. Lift it up, so that it hurts. And now, please follow me. Where to? I would be very grateful if you would spare me the need to answer questions that I am not personally authorized to answer. I'm not going anywhere alone. He's not going anywhere alone. Well, the fool is with you. Let's go together. Where's my shark? Well, let's go. I'm afraid you're getting carried away as always. After all, he's still a boy. A boy. And if this boy is a genius? Vasechka, tell me, please, did you think of this, eh? Or maybe you think that Sergei Sergeyevich thought of it. Ilya finally. And he suggested it, he's a boy. His idea of storing antimatter is brilliant. Please, comrades, meet this boy, and guilty by name and patronymic. What's his name? Suryaza. Vityu. Victor. I'm sorry if I don't know my middle name. I ask you to urgently find out and inform me the name and patronymic of this boy from Kalugo. The boy of... By the way, Vasily will allow himself to notice that the great Mozart played the most difficult pieces on the harpsichord at the age of three. The most difficult. By the way, Kalia, I will also allow myself to note that the harpsichord is not a spaceship after all, and not even a piano. And this Kaluga video of yours, I'm afraid, is not Mozart. But Squirm, please, the difference between a harpsichord and a spaceship, I understand more than you, better than you. So, well, stop talking about it. Let's get down to business. Tell me, what exactly are you doubting? What are you afraid of? I do not know what Vasily Antiforovich is afraid of, but I am afraid that you are starting things not in the competence of children. Kids can't handle it. Exactly. Exactly. A person will meet an alien civilization for the first time, and who will represent our land. Children, boys and girls, excuse me, Vasily Anastifrovich, but by the time they find themselves in the Alpha Cassiopeia area, they will be 40. They will be adults, educated people, hardened in a complex space flight. I will allow myself to remind you of the important circumstances that you are invited to Academician Blagovit. You wait here. You are personal, just you alone. I'm not going anywhere without Pavlik. There are academics there. You needn't be stubborn, my dear. Viktor Danilovich, Sereda. Young man, you have to be careful when you enter an unfamiliar room. Let me introduce you to my friend Viktor Danilovich Sereda. Nikolai Kirillovich Blagovidov, Vityu. Are you hurt? What? Vasily Anastifarovich Ivanovsky fire. It happens. Vityu. Alexander Ivanovich Karachkin. Very nice. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you the same, Vasily Nestiforovich, Fire Duganovsky, the author of the famous cosmogonic hypothesis of the fire of Duganovsky? Are you familiar with my hypothesis? I am not only familiar with your hypothesis and fully share it. What, Vasya? So, let's get down to business, please. Please sit down. Just yesterday, it was a fantastic project of a Kaluga schoolboy in the form of an environment. 
And today, it is the basis of the design assignment of the first spacecraft going to the distant star Alpha, a constellation of Serpe. It can't be. When adults speak, children should be silent. Excuse me. He's joking. So, the development of the final project is entrusted to you. Together with academician Filadev and his Institute of Space Travel, I must admit, dear Viktor Danilik, that I had some doubts about your candidacy. But now, after getting to know you personally, I withdraw my objections. And as an astronomer, I cannot but rejoice at the fruitfulness of choosing Alpha Cassiopeia as an object of research. Moreover, here in a narrow circle, I can report that the nature of the signals received from there suggests that some kind of civilization from the depths of space is addressing us. Yes, yes, it is to us. That is why your project will receive principal support from the Astronomical Center. Unfortunately, I have to add a big spoonful of tar to this barrel of honey. As a biologist, I strongly object to sending children under the age of 16 into space with their not yet formed musculoskeletal system. Sergei Sergeevich, academician Karachkin is wrong. How old is he? Well, about 15 years old. And what's more, he's not 14. Acceleration. Our generation is developing faster than the previous one. Do you know the reasons? I suppose. Very well. I will try to take on academician Karachkin. In the meantime, the point is up to the point. Get down to crew selection, training, work. Please forgive me. I will detain you for a moment, dear Viktor Danilik, I ask you to sign the receipt. In this cell, please. And you have a beautiful handwriting. Thank you. Excuse me, but how did you manage? Listen, where did he go? Miracles. Ugh, what a job. Yes, Yuri Petrovich screwed you today, but you're good. You stand 5W, and the numbers were pouring out of you today, just like the calculating machine. You have a developed seventh sense, ironically. Have you come again? She came. I told you not to go. It's not going to work anyway. I got the second category in rhythmic gymnastics yesterday. I cannot eat for two days. I was testing myself. Don't you understand? I have to flaw. She must. There's nothing I can do. The team is selected. Approved. Don't come here anymore. Understand? But I have to help them. To whom? Aliens. Come on. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. Listen, maybe Okorakova wrote a note. Oh no, oh, you checked her kidney yourself. Yes, I checked. Today we are gathered in connection with unexpected complications regarding the crew of the Starship Charge. At the first meeting, the crew was determined according to the scheme 3 plus 3. Three girls, three boys. But today it became known that Lena Kashkina's candidacy, unfortunately, has disappeared. How did it disappear? Lena Kashkin has disappeared. Yes, yes, disappeared. Lena Kashkina's grandmother did not give her consent. And since the permission of all close relatives is required for the flight, Lena Kashkina disappears. What to do? Cancel the flight.
Since at the last meeting on the proposal of Viktor Danilik, Mikhail Vasilyevich Kabanigin, who has a phenomenal memory, was approved as one of the crew members, allowing him to memorize 10 pages of small printed typographic text from one reading, I would recommend that the Commission familiarize itself with these documents. An excellent candidate. What's this girl's name? Ekaterina Sergeevna Panferova, winner of the Olympiads of Young Archaeologists, Petrographers, Crystallographers. Og. I have been instructed to inform you Ekaterina Andreevna, that the selection committee has approved your candidate. I congratulate you. You're flying. Where to? Into space. Four. Excuse me, what? Four. Four pancakes. And into space. Is it for a long time? No, oh, well, as you say, for life. For the whole. Well, to be more precise, about 50 years. All right, I'm going to fly, but on one condition. Great. Conditions accepted. And how do you know what the condition is? Your conditions are that one boy should fly with you. Yes. And do you know who exactly? Consider that you are already flying. And four, three, four, five, six, seven. One hundred and twenty-seven. One hundred and twenty-eight. Thus, our spaceship, created by the work of many designers, engineers, workers, will enable the crew of the spaceship to make a long journey to Alpha Cassiopeia and return back to Earth. You have familiarized yourself with the command compartment of the starship. Let's continue the inspection. Please tell me, what principles guided you in the selection of the team? After all, with such a long journey, the psychological compatibility of the crew is, it seems to me, the basis of success. This is a very serious issue. Academician Karachkin could have answered it in detail, but unfortunately, he left with an expedition to Central Africa. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now we will turn to one of the crew members responsible for the biological part of our expedition. I'll ask everyone to go to the biocenter. Please, please, please. Please, a huge force to throw into space from a girl. Just don't believe it. Hello. Hello. Larry. Let me introduce you. Exobiologist Varvara Kutishchikovo. Cosmologist Yulia Sorokina. Please ask questions. On what principle was the team selected? I'm on issues of psychological compatibility. Magazine for Children Pete. Sorry. I have such a question for you. I have such a question for you. Mademoiselle Kutishchikova, what made you, as I know, such a principled opponent of the Wednesday Project, take part in this expedition? I have devoted my life to biology. My senior comrades convinced me that my participation in this expedition was necessary for science. And for science, I'm ready for anything. And you, Mademoiselle Sorokina? I have always been an ardent supporter of the Vitya Wednesday project. My cherished dream is being realized. I'm flying with Vitya Kalfkasi Pia. Excuse me, how many mice were involved in the biological experiment? I would still like you to answer my question about the psychological compatibility of the crew. First of all, four of the six crew members, students of the same class. Well, we've been friends for almost seven years. Of course, everyone has different characters, but we are united by a common goal, mutual respect, 
a sense of responsibility. Maybe that's why we all pass the compatibility test so easily, using a special program. Yes, here she wrote a note. Julio. Well, she's nothing. And glasses, perhaps, do not spoil it very much. And then such an age. In a year, she can completely change, and perhaps, in the future, she will even become a beauty. And Varka can get ugly. Great car. The ship of the barbell. Vitya, before it's too late, take me with you. It's getting late. Vitya, all sorts of surprises are possible in flight. Well, let's say the water evaporates. What are you going to do? You don't know, but I'll think of something. Fedya, you are incompatible. And in general, be grateful that I brought you to the ship today. Look, Serena, think about it. You can't do without me. Well, do you want me to tell you a secret? I created a universal glue. He glues everything. Demonstrating the magic glue. Try it. Tear it off. There is simply nothing to do in space without this glue. How many times have I told you not to let him near the ship? Don't let me see you here anymore. Please come in, come in. And what do you say about your expedition? Swim away from here. What are you doing? Nothing. And what is this? I must disappoint you, but this is our professional secret. You see the guests, be the hostess. I would like to draw your attention to a device that I think you should be interested in. This way, please. This device is the subject of our pride. Please. This is the device. This is a portable sense catcher. If the expedition participants are lucky enough to meet the inhabitants of other planets with a completely different language form of communication, this unique device will come to their aid. I'm going to ask you to say a few words in your native language. Amazing. The machine is not a novelty translator. Allow me to offer your sense catcher a more complex task. Get this damn thing away from me. It would be better if you offered a good bone. It's noisy here. I'm tired, and I want to go home. And now, if you'll excuse me, the time for our press conference is over. I have to continue working with the crew of the starship. Have a nice day, have a nice day. You will be escorted. Nadyusha, show the guests out. Sorry, one question. What is K? Oh? Need to Oklahoma? Cal, this is a cleaning chamber. The garbage and garbage that accumulate on the ship getting into the chamber are automatically packed in hermetic bags, like our milk cartons. A triangle, only 20 times more, and they are thrown into outer space. Sorry, but... Don't worry, don't worry, it won't clog up space. The fact is that the package self-destructs after 24 hours. Now, friends, please come out. Very nice. Today, I will finally reveal to you the secret of this door. It's your cabin. Surprise! Surprise!
We wanted to make your future life easier without your native land. That's what this cabin company was created for. Here you can relax, play sports, celebrate holidays, birthdays. On these two stands, you can reproduce 100 variants of familiar corners of nature, familiar rooms. Now I'm going to dial the cipher of one of the interiors you know. What is it? My apartment. Yes, Pasha, this is your apartment. There are apartments for each of you here. Wow. And what kind of finger is that? We modeled this pointing finger at the request and oh. And this is one of the corners of the central Russian nature. There, look, the grass is like real. Can I touch the water? Touch it. Can I pet the cat? Ah, he's here again. Well, stroke it. Is he real? I don't know, I don't know. Caught you. Eh? Don't get carried away, eh? Why? Otherwise you'll fall into the skull. Well, let's go. Is it possible to simulate a stadium? I think it's possible. And the rocky shore? If you try. And the zoo? Try it. Try it. So, you can simulate anything here. And that's not all. Here. Now you recognize the whole ship. My mission is over. I want to wish all of you and your commander and scientific supervisor a sound and restful sleep. Tomorrow is the start. The night passed as if the pain had passed. The earth sleeps. Let him rest. Let the earth, like you and me, have a long, lifelike path ahead of it. I will take this big world, every day, every hour of it. If I forget something, it is unlikely that the stars will accept us. If I forget to hide something, the stars will accept us. I'll take the chirping of terrestrial birds. I will take a good stream, a forest. I will take the light of thunder lightning, the whisper of the winds. Winter empty forest. I'll take it in a big one. Beat every day, every hour of it. If anything,
Launches are carried out, practically. Pioneers are becoming pioneers. For 50 years our crew will be in flight. 50 years is by the clock of a starship. On Earth, hundreds of years will pass during this time, and other generations will meet our messengers. Space travel beyond the solar system. For hundreds of years, a Soviet spaceship has been flying to the Alpha Star, the constellation Cassiopeia. Young people have passed all the tests and according to their physical data, fully meets the necessary modern requirements. I'm sorry, but we have to interrupt ours for a while. You took advantage of the fact that I went to Africa. Stop the flight. What's the matter with you, Alexander Ivanovich? What about me? Nothing. Many. Worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. The crew has passed all the tests and, according to their physical data, fully meets your requirements. Now I understand that you deliberately sent me to Africa, knowing that I am not indifferent to African animals. Not really. You will understand that I have not yet finished my experiments for flying over mice and rats. Experiments on mice and rats. It's okay. It's okay. Your student Varvara Kutishchikova has successfully committed. Nevertheless, I strongly protest. Congratulations to the crew of the Dawn on the successful completion of the first stage of the flight. According to telemetry, all systems are working fine. Varvara, do you hear me, Varvara? I hear you, Alexander Ivanovich. How many experimental mice did you have? 27. Are all the mice ours? Ours. And how many are left alive? All 27. And Pafnuti is alive. He was so weak. Pafnutius. Alive. 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 All right. Flaw. Congratulations, guys, on the start of the expedition, leaving the solar system. Everyone proceed to the execution of work assignments. Prepare the annihilation engines for activation. Well, brothers, we got there. Attention on the ship. We have reached the design speed. Listen, are we really flying at the speed of light? Yes, almost. I'm even surprised myself. Now comes the state of weightlessness. Like in the movies. Maybe I'll fly. Fly, bathe in thrills. Just hurry up. In five minutes, I turn on artificial gravity. Girls, how are you doing there? I'm fine. It's fine. And what about you, Varya? Now, now, wait a minute. Where is it? Your weightlessness, weightlessness. Yes, you turn off your magnetic boots and push off harder. That's great. Great, great. Amazing. But it's great, brothers. Here it is, is. Weightlessness is something. All the water and fish jumped out of the aquarium. Kudishchikov, I didn't expect this from you. Cover her from above. 
Kutish Shikova, your time and glass, including an artificial gravity field with a preemptive 10 minutes. Catch it quickly, or your fish will flop on the floor. You can substitute a frying pan. Wait, it's going to crash. Don't turn it on. Don't turn it on. Oh, Varenka, swim to the rescue. Look, the tape recorder. From where? What happened there? Hurry there. Guys, what about me? Whoa. What's the matter with you? It seems like this damn glue. Can I help you? I can handle it myself. Let's have a surprise. Vitko, help me. Turn on the magnetic boots. It's time to think. Hi there. So, we only missed you. Well, don't make a noise, don't make a noise. What are you making noise about? Can't you see that the man is hanging upside down? Come down now. I can't. Turn off your shoes. I can't. They're glued to me. Fedya, hello. Hello, hello. Everything's spilled out of you. Listen, how did you get into the sky? It's all the jokes of weightlessness and my irreplaceable glue. I'm here by accident. So? Lace up. Now. Attention to all compartments. An artificial gravity field comes into effect. Fedka, don't lace up. Wait. Fedya, hold on. Brothers, I'm falling. Take your finger away. Take your finger away. Well, take your finger away soon. Don't panic, Law. I'm going to set something up for you now. At least this bath. There you go. They couldn't even put a bath in a human way. You landed beautifully. Ugh, the heat. Those immediately report to the classroom compartment of the surprise. The crew is late for classes. And here you need to learn. Meltwater gurgled under the bridge, running down the gutter. Falling soft snow covered the worn road. Varka, her with a long tail. But I'm completely different. So it's not Varka, and not Yulik. Surely not Yulik. Look at T, and her letters are all kind of potbelly. Or maybe she stayed on Earth. There are holy shoes in his hands. 
Shoes or shoes, leave me alone, we're in space, not on Earth. It's time to think for yourself. What's there to think about? You need to know. For the next lesson, paragraphs 298 and 299. Good bye. Have you written everything? Yes. Well, are you a fool or something? Vasca, this is Proxima Centauri. So that's what it is, the nearest neighbor of our sun. How much longer to fly to Cassipia? Yes. Who wrote that damned note anyway? Nevertheless, in relation to the forehead, you have allowed an unacceptable softness. Why did you leave him on the ship? Well, you're like a baby. And what can be done? Before it's too late, sacrifice one exploration capsule and send it to Earth. Such a type can ruin the entire expedition, and no contact with an alien civilization will occur. And anyway, you made a mistake back on Earth, when you let him and the journalists on the ship. Well, who could have known? You. Who wrote it? I ask. Who wrote this? I'm sick of it on Earth, and I demand, then I demand, that whoever wrote this apologize to Katya, because none of this is true, and why should I apologize to her, and because, and I won't think who she is, so that I apologize to her. Oh, who is she? Here's another one, a penguin in love. Boys have stopped, fed you. Wait. Here you go. Hurry up, girls. They need to be separated. Be careful, man in space. Pay attention. A man in space. A man in space. It's life-threatening. A man in space. A man. Oh, look. A man in space. He's going to die. Be careful. A man in space. Guys. Guys, he fell out into the cleaning chamber. A man in space. A man in space. This, give me a force field of attraction. Yes, we can see for ourselves that this voice will turn off. Guys, we have to hurry. We are entering the area of Proxima Centauri. We'll have time to pull it out. Pasha, what's with the force field? I can't understand it. Give me the maximum. There is... There is... Hooked. Attention, attention. In this situation, the force field will not be able to hold. Snapped. Snapped. 
There's enough oxygen in the bag for 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, it will be melted by Proxima Centauri. His skin is probably cracking already. Guys, where is Fedka? Vitya, where is Fedka? There's 15 minutes of oxygen left in the bag. And then what? Everything is clear. The ship's force field is disrupted. The magnetic storms are proximal. What are we going to do? I'm going to go into space. Help me to bring me. I'm going to go into space. I'm going to go into space. Follow the movement on the screen, controlling the relative speed and distance. Vitka, you have 14 minutes left. And then what? Shut up. What is it, Pasha? This is a hydrogen release. Our business is bad. Vitka may not have time. Go back. Attention, Vitya, range 200. Turn on the overclocking, eat it. You step aside. Side 3, turn on the left one. There is. Turn off the side. Turn on the coursework in pairs. I'm turning it on. You're going well. How much time do I have left? Not enough. Range 10, speed 12. Turn off overclocking. Braking. There is. Then work yourself. Well, he'll be here in a minute. It's coming soon. Quiet, Mishka. Quiet. Vitya, cry on full. More like Vitka. My forehead is completely stunned. Ugh. What a heat. Yes, hurry up. Now, now. Was it written cow? I thought it was a rest room, but this is a cleaning chamber. Cow, cow. What kind of ass is that who? To Panagin in your opinion. Send him to Earth, otherwise we'll go to hell with him. Kozelkov, I'm sorry about the reconnaissance capsule, but I don't see any other way out. Kutishchikova? And I don't even feel sorry for the capsules. From the moment he appeared on the ship, we began to quarrel. We could do something stupid and ruin the expedition. Send him to Earth. Sorokina. I do not know what to do with him, but, in any case, he must first be cured. And I propose to leave Lobanov on the ship. Are you serious about this? Yes, absolutely serious. Well, 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 in my opinion, Sorokina's right. We will leave the questions of Lobanev stay on the ship open for now, until his recovery. Everyone is resting now. Good night. Good night. Good night. You know, turn on the calming impulses. Frequency 15, amplitude 3. Good night. Why are you the key impulses of cheerfulness? It seemed to me that it wouldn't hurt him. Lies quietly. I turned the pulse on. Idiotic impulses. Here's your shirt. You'll wake up. Put it on. Good night. Ha, ha, ha.
Sure. Okay, <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> That's enough. I agreed to fly without hesitation. For life. And he... He doesn't pay any attention to me. He just doesn't notice me. Boys always hide their feelings. And Mishka is very secretive. He said it wasn't true. You never know what he said. If you want to know, it's this. So it is. What is it? So it was I who wrote this nonsense on the blackboard. You. Yes, I am. I am. But Fedka didn't give me away. He saw me writing. And he didn't give it away. I will take the memory of the Earth's miles. I will swim in a thick white form. They're in the distance. They're near the blue stars. The Earth's sun will shine on me. I will take this big world every day, every hour of it. If I forget something, it is unlikely that the stars will accept us. If I forget something, it is unlikely that the stars will shelter us. Big deal, secrets. Well, I'm going to bed. I can go to bed. I may not go to bed. And what is this? What are you? Paphnutius. Paphnutius. Ah! 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 
You ruined it. Get off the remote. Attention. The reason for what is happening, the electronic computer cannot establish. Above the speed of light. Impossible. Sergei Sergeevich, the connection stopped at 008. There were no attempts to restore its success. What do you think could have happened? I believe that the reason is purely external. Maybe a black hole. What do you have? Since the termination of communication, all astrophysical observatories have been monitoring area at 1246. But I can't tell you anything comforting yet. Keep watching. Well, what, Nadyusha? At the time of the termination of communication, the ship was here. We probed the whole square, and 1246, there was no dawn. She disappeared almost instantly. Do you think it's a disaster? I don't know, but it really looks like a black hole. I believe that if not us, then you will someday learn to cut through space. Catherine. The engines are breaking. The engines are breaking. What's wrong with us? This is not our sky. Earth. Well, of course, the Earth. Look, some old man. Don't you recognize me, friends? You are somewhat similar to Sergei Sergeyevich Filatev. Are you his father? No, Pasha. 
It's me. What happened to you, Sergei Sergeyevich? Nothing special happened, Vityu. I just got older. 27 years have passed since the last communication session on Earth. And of course, the years take their toll. But what happened to you, we do not know until now. For 27 years, scientists have been racking their brains, but they have not solved it. Some believe that you fell into a Tachin spiral, others assume that you were in a case there was no connection. You were moving at a speed not of physics and not but not let's waste time, friends. I give way to the head of the ultra-long distance communication laboratory. Hello, guys. You probably won't recognize me, but we once knew each other. And with you, Vitya, and with you, Yulio, and with you, Kutishchikova, we were just sitting on the same party. Milka Karakova? Yay, guys. It's me, Vitya. You acted very cruelly not taking me with you. Why cruel? Because I wrote the note, remember? You? You? No. I checked the handwriting with your notebook. It's not you. I purposely wrote with my left hand so that no one would guess. Your flight affected me so much that I became a radio astronomer. I am 40 years old. I have two children. The youngest son, here he is. I named Vitya after you. And her girl's name is Veryu. Milk. Milk. Guys, the staff of my laboratory managed to decipher the signals coming from the Alpha Cassiopeia area. A catastrophe has occurred on one of the planets, threatening the destruction of civilization. Something threatens thinking beings. You have to help them. Can you hear me? Vitiu. Vitiu. Can you hear me? We hear. If Milko is 40 now, then it turns out that when we return, they will all be gone. Einstein's paradox. Even first graders know this. And did you know when you left? Guys, I understand. Honestly, I understand everything. Send it to me on Earth. I have no right to fly with you. It's always my fault. Got it. Okay. Finally. It's too late now. No capsule will reach the Earth. I don't want to disturb you. I don't want to. Lock me up somewhere and don't let me out until we get back to Earth. I'm incompatible. Incompatible? We're so damn far from home. What kind of incompatibility is there? I think, guys, we're not going to take him. But I believe he can become the seventh member of our crew. I agree. And I agree. And Ming Mi, and I agree. What? So be it.